New tonight, groups supporting transgender children as well as some physicians are concerned after Governor Greg Abbott asked state officials to investigate instances of sex change surgeries in kids. Channel 5 Santiago Caicedo with reactions tonight. Trans youth have always existed. Trans youth always will exist. Gabriel Sanchez supports young trans and non-binary kids in the Valley. And the recent opinions from Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson and Governor Abbott are not sitting well with him. I think what is disappointing is that certain political factions in the state of Texas are trying to weaponize the existence of trans children to fire up their base. In a letter to the Texas Department of Family Services, the governor asked the agency to conduct a prompt investigation of any reported instances of abusive procedures in the state related to sex change procedures, referring to it as child abuse. And last Friday, Attorney General Ken Paxson wrote a 13-page long opinion explaining the same points. I do want to clarify that no physician, no provider would ever give children uh, gender-affirming hormones. This endocrinologist from DHR says the governor is creating fear instead of solutions. Children know very early on, age three or four, they have a gender identity. They know who they are inside. Citing medical guidelines, Dr. Michelle Cordova points out children would have to begin entering puberty at around 12 years old in order to be given puberty blockers, which are not hormones. When a kid is 16, after exhaustive medical evaluations and consent from the parents and the child, hormone therapies can begin. DAs from five Texas counties, organizations supporting the LGBT community, and state Democratic lawmakers blasted the governor's orders. Governor Abbott is unfortunately falling into what a trend that we've seen nationwide in the United States with conservative public politicians making um, making an issue out of something that isn't an issue. The doctor adds that parents should always be supportive of their transgender or non-binary child. Meanwhile, the opinions expressed by Attorney General Ken Paxson and Governor Abbott were simply opinions and not legal decisions. In the McAllen Newsroom, Santiago Caicedo, Channel 5 News.